Lady Lazarus is a powerful and provocative poem written by Sylvia Plath, an acclaimed American poet known for her confessional style. Published posthumously in 1965, the poem delves into themes of identity, self-destruction, and rebirth through the lens of the biblical figure Lazarus. The poem opens with a bold statement, announcing the speaker's ability to rise again like Lazarus from the dead. The speaker, referred to as Lady Lazarus, addresses the audience with a confrontational tone, inviting them to witness her repeated resurrections. She recounts her history of attempted suicides and the public spectacle they became, describing them as performances that draw a fascinated and morbid crowd. Lady Lazarus employs vivid and unsettling imagery, comparing herself to a Holocaust victim, a cat with multiple lives, and a circus act. She speaks of her body as a pebble, cold and hardened, suggesting a sense of detachment and emotional numbness. The repeated theme of her resurrection reinforces her defiance and the assertion of her own agency in the face of personal and societal pressures. As the poem progresses, Lady Lazarus challenges the notion of victimhood, refusing to be reduced to a passive role. She declares her own power and control over her life, asserting her ability to transform and rise above her suffering. The poem takes a turn towards empowerment as she declares herself a phoenix, rising from the ashes. In the final stanza, Lady Lazarus addresses her audience directly, challenging their preconceptions and judgments. She asserts her strength and resilience, stating that despite their expectations, she will continue to rise again and again. The poem concludes with a defiant and triumphant tone, emphasizing the indomitable spirit of Lady Lazarus. It is a deeply introspective and complex poem that showcases Sylvia Plath's skill in merging personal experiences with broader social and historical themes. Here are some key aspects to consider in analyzing the poem. Plath's confessional style of poetry is evident in Lady Lazarus as she draws from her own experiences and emotions. The poem reflects her struggles with mental health and her fascination with death, providing a raw and intimate glimpse into her psyche. The poem explores themes of identity and the destructive tendencies within oneself. Lady Lazarus grapples with her sense of self, seeking empowerment and control amidst a history of suicidal thoughts and attempts. Her multiple resurrections become a metaphorical journey of self-discovery and defiance. Plath employs striking and vivid imagery throughout the poem to evoke strong emotions in the reader. The references to the Holocaust, the cat with nine lives, and the circus act all contribute to the poem's sense of surrealism, suffering, and the voyeuristic nature of public fascination with personal tragedy. Despite the darkness and despair depicted in the poem, Lady Lazarus reclaims agency and refuses to be a passive victim. She embraces her own power and asserts her ability to rise above her circumstances. The phoenix imagery underscores her determination to transcend her suffering and emerge stronger. Plath's poem also serves as a critique of society's voyeuristic tendencies and its treatment of personal struggles as spectacles for public consumption. Lady Lazarus challenges the audience's expectations and confronts them directly asserting her autonomy and refusing to conform to their preconceived narratives. Overall, Lady Lazarus is a deeply personal and provocative poem that explores themes of identity, self-destruction, resilience, and empowerment. The poem does not follow a consistent rhyme scheme. Plath's style often focuses more on the use of imagery, metaphors, and other poetic devices rather than adhering to a strict rhyme scheme. Let's discuss the poetic devices used in Lady Lazarus. The poem features repetitive lines and phrases, such as I rise and out of the ash, which serve to emphasize key themes and reinforce the speaker's assertions of resilience and rebirth. Plath utilizes various metaphors to convey meaning and evoke powerful imagery. For example, Lady Lazarus compares herself to a Holocaust victim, a cat with multiple lives, and a circus act. These metaphors create intense and unsettling visualizations. 
Plat employs vivid and often disturbing imagery throughout the poem. She uses imagery of fire, ash, and resurrection to convey the speaker's experience of self-destruction and subsequent rebirth. The images of the circus, the gas ovens, and the bees further contribute to the poem's emotional impact. The poem makes references to biblical figures, particularly Lazarus, who was famously resurrected by Jesus. By alluding to this story, Plath adds layers of meaning and explores themes of resurrection, suffering, and the struggle for identity. The lines do not end with punctuation and flow into the next line without pause. This technique creates a sense of continuity and momentum, enhancing the poem's rhythm and allowing ideas to carry over from one line to the next. Plath's choice of words is significant in conveying the emotional intensity of the poem. She uses stark and often shocking language, such as references to pebbles and the big striptease, to create a sense of unease and provoke a visceral reaction in the reader. Plath employs irony throughout the poem, particularly in the speaker's defiant and sarcastic tone. The juxtaposition of dark subject matter with biting humor serves to challenge societal expectations and norms. While the poem does not adhere to a traditional rhyme scheme, these poetic devices contribute to the overall impact and effectiveness of Lady Lazarus as a powerful and emotionally charged work. So that was it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.